Hey guys, what's up? Martin Kellert here. Today I'm trying my new gimbal, the smartphone uh, Shiun, 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 Shiun Smooth Q. I don't know how to pronounce it. I go out, uh, do some cinematic shots and then we will see how this will work. I hope the weather will be good. So first, we try some outdoor shots. Let's find out what the gimbal can do. So after doing some outdoor shots, we change the location for some indoor shots. So stay tuned. And here we are. Look at this amazing place. So I will turn here around. I found the phone! Now we are really on top. So, my knees tell me, go back. It's so dirty here. <laughs> So now you can see some of the cinematic results and then we see again on my couch to some, some sort of conclusion for this gimbal. So.
Conclusion. First, I had a very nice day. It was, it was amazing. It was lots of fun filming all this stuff and uh, ah, just a wonderful day. So what can I say about the gimbal? First, it was very easy filming with this gimbal all the cinematic shots and smooth shots in one way. The problem here is you have this, this mode button and you have uh, three modes within the gimbal. So uh, you can switch uh, between two modes if you press one time and uh, uh, switch to the third mode if you press it double. And uh, you have no LED showing you in which mode you are currently filming in. So that's, that, that's a problem. Sometimes uh, you begin to film because you think, oh, you have this mode and then uh, the gimbal doesn't do what you want it to do and then you need to film it again. So that's a very big uh, problem and I hope um, in the next generation of this uh, gimbal we have some, some sort of display or LEDs showing uh, which mode you are into. That would be very fine. So like the video if you like it, dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't already and I would say guys we see us in the next video.